Guess who's back? Back again. They're back with some trash. Uh, I'm not going to ask Eminem not to sue me because hopefully Detroiters ain't going to be like that to each other. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get down to some skincare and other stuff, shall we? This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Um, I did really enjoy this, surprisingly, because I hate coconut. I hate coconut. Um, and it did smell like coconut, but it smelled like something else. And, like, not obnoxiously. So, I did use it. It is moisturizing. Again, as I said before, you buy travel sizes if you can to try products out. And this lasted forever. Um, however... Too Faced has been problematic for a long time, and um, I can't remember if I ordered this or it came as a free gift, but with recent comments from one's sister about Nikki tutorials and just a history of being problematic, and also I used a Too Faced eyeshadow palette the other day, and I'm like, why did I ever like this? This is not good. And it's not that old, so it can't be that it's expired and it just doesn't age well, like. So, uh, really gonna try and stop myself from buying the Too Faced eyeshadows because god damn it, they make it so cute. Um, but yeah. The Tatcha Water Cream. I love this, I love the packaging, I love the smell. And also, um, nobody, I've ever seen talk about Tatcha, has talked about this, but if you actually read the stuff that comes in there, apparently they donate shit to charity for every purchase, and I don't remember what it is. I think it was something about Japanese scroll girls, but I could be very wrong. Um, but I just, I'm like, oh, an amazing product, which is expensive, let's be real, but it does great things, and oh, also, um, you know, you're gonna help those less fortunate. Uh, I feel a lot better about this purchase. Thank you. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, I guess this is skincare, right? I waited to get these for so long and I had such high hopes and I was so skeptical and that's part of why I waited so long and also because they're just expensive. But I have here the Halo Beauty Hair, Skin and Nails Vitamins. And let me tell you, what a waste of $50 this was. Now, I love Tati. I have a lot of faith in Tati, and I do not believe she would ever put out a, a less than exemplary product. And hopefully that continues to be the case. Um, I, I waited a long time. I looked at a lot of reviews and long-term people using it. And I finally was like, you know what? Now that I'm 30, my hair doesn't grow very fast. I used to cut eight inches off every year. And uh, now, you know, I feel like my hair's been this long for like a year and I need it to be longer. I miss, I miss the button, I miss the ponytail. And the... So <laughs> I bought this because I was sure that, you know, it was just, it was gonna work miracles, you know, and that it was gonna be worth the price. And oh, now they have some subscription services. Um, first of all, I miss the original packaging and the original pills, which were pink and pretty. Maybe that's part of the problem because sometimes it's mind over matter. First of all, I already did it first of all, but okay, these smell disgusting. And now vitamins do sometimes smell disgusting. So like that in itself is not necessarily a deal breaker, but it is unpleasant. Like you, I open it and I feel like I just get punched in the face with it. And I actually don't want to pull the lid off of this right now because I know it's going to smell for you. For the internet. The old pills were so pretty, and these look like, I smell it's in the back of my throat. These look like you're swallowing grandma's ashes, and I'm not here for it. They taste terrible when you take them. You burp them up, and they taste terrible. And now, granted, I did not, I did not give it the full amount of time. I gave it like two months and then I gave up because it was disgusting. It was making me gag and I saw zero improvement. And I know it takes a while for these types of things to kick in, but so many people see results so quickly. Like, 
my skin was not any different. Birth control keeps my skin pretty decent, so that's that. My nails saw absolutely no improvement, and my hair saw no growth, no improvement. So uh, I wasted so much money oh, to, ugh, to gag on vitamins every day. Mm. I missed a makeup item in the last video, so we're gonna do it now. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. Now this used to be packaged in a bottle with a red cap and red details. And there was also about like a comfort lasting serum. Oh, that is like the best like light to medium foundation I've ever used. I used to be a full coverage queen, but again, now that I'm getting older and my skin is different, it's not what I need. I just need light, light moisture, and uh, you know, this is a foundation that even when that's not what I wanted, like it was so good and it gave me that and it gave, I didn't know I needed it. I didn't know I wanted it. Everything I never knew I always wanted in a foundation. And it seems that they have changed the formula along with the packaging. And um, it's all right. It's not the same. I, <laughs> this is in the shade Ivory, way too yellow for me. I have pink undertones. This made me look tanner than I could ever hope to be. I made it work the few times I did use it, but it was hard. And um, I bought the shade underneath it, and that is a great match because it's got pink undertones. And I do still like it. However, I have to say, one thing I am not a fan of is the new applicator, which is one of these big ass doe foot things. And they're just not sanitary. I don't want it. Give me a pump give it give me an open bottle that i just dump onto the back of my hand like we're in middle school but not this um the foundation is fine i would recommend if you're looking for a nice moisturizing lightweight foundation just you know go and test the colors i'm like um and it is very affordable so there's that let's see um this is the estee lauder vitalizing supreme blah 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 cream this was for travel. This was fine. Um, I know skincare can take a while to kick in, but personally, if I'm spending that much money on skincare, I wanna see results like the next day or within a week. Now, do, I, I'm not expecting a 180, but something. And the products I currently use, like I'm using them because that happened. So, um, it was fine. It was fine because it was a small little thing for travel, but no, it's not. Would not recommend, would not repurchase. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. Now, normally CeraVe is a hit, out of the ballpark hit with skincare. It's affordable and it's great stuff. And I love a vitamin C serum. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save some money. And now the serum itself is fine. However, I have a big problem with the packaging and delivery. It's one of those metal tubes that like paint and grease comes in. And that's not what I want to feel like I'm using when it comes to skincare. Makeup, maybe, but not skincare. This thing right here. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, I want a product that, that stands up. So I have to lay this down. That's also a problem. This pointy thing, which by the way, I thought was one piece and came off. So for a long time, I was just squeezing it directly out of the tube. And then I discovered that it actually comes apart. And if I can get it off, which is not always easy to do. Um, oh, it's leaking everywhere. Um, it's just a little, little tippy tight hint in your point. And uh, it just, I'm not here for it. I tried. The serum itself is fine. I can't handle the packaging. So do with that what you will. This is another CeraVe product, the uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Skin Renewing Day Cream Encapsulated Retinol. This is terrible. I don't know what happened, like two CeraVe misses in a row. It never happens for me. Um, so after I turned 30, wanted to up my skincare game, include some anti-aging stuff, Heard good things about retinol. Oh, CeraVe's got a retinol thing. CeraVe's for, but let's do it. So I find out after I've been using this product that you're not supposed to use retinol in the sun. And then I looked into it and apparently it's okay as long as SPF is high enough, but I'm very 
pale and like I burn. My skin's already sensitive to just looking at the sun, let alone being out in it. So from that point on, I felt very uncomfortable using this. So I would still recommend keeping retinol for nighttime, but you do what you want, live your best life. Um, more than anything, this product is very thick, so it was hard to dispense. This is not even an empty, it's like halfway full, but I'm not even gonna try and pump it out because it's just, it's so thick. A daytime cream should not be this thick. I mean, it's thicker than actual sunscreen. It doesn't melt or emulsify very well, and then when you're putting it on the skin, it just doesn't blend well into the skin, so you really gotta work it, but uh, if you're like me, once you really got to work something in, then it starts to peel, pill up, you know, which is gross. Very bad white cast, which is not uncommon with sunscreen. Like, that's not necessarily their fault, but it was just another thing that's like, well, why am I using this? Would not recommend to anyone. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Okay. This was fine, but it did nothing, and it's such a huge, huge container for an eye cream. I started putting this all over my face because this is gonna expire before I could ever use it all. And like, it's so rich in emollient that you needed such a small amount under your eyes that like, I just got tired of using it. And like, I, my eyes are my worst area, you know, as a lifelong, uh, glasses where I, I've squinted a lot, you know, and also I'm very sensitive to the sun, so anytime I'm in bright light, I'm like, mm, it burns us. <sighs> Sorry, I just put a new wallflower in and I smelled it as I was distracted. Um, I would not waste the money on this unless you're just trying to be bougie. It did nothing special, I will not will not repurchase. Um, this is an empty travel thing. This is an empty Rev de Miel lip balm from NUX, which I placed a product into to travel in because they have the nice little glass packaging. So this is a great amount of stuff to take with you if you're gonna travel. Um, and so the stuff inside it expired and then I already used the lip balm, but we'll always recommend this lip balm. I have a Rock Retinol Eye Cream. Now this shit worked and I used it to death. Um, now, like the CeraVe, um, it has the metal tube and the pointy point. However, this one has a flat lid so I can place it in my cabinet and it's also not a foot long. So like even if I lay it flat, I can, I can weasel it in between all my other products. This is great. Have not repurchased yet, but I will. Like, a big difference in my old eyes. Uh, completely empty and capless Burt's Bees Peppermint Lip Balm, and another one that is uh, label-less, uh, but with a cap. Um, good lip balm. Um, I am now trying to stay away from lip balms with any medicatedness in it, menthol, mint, anything, because apparently they're irritants. And uh, you know, I was like, oh, bet you don't know what you're talking about. I've used them my whole life and they've never irritated me. And then I stepped away from them just to test. And like, my lips are working a lot better. So, you know, if, if you're looking for a little something more for your lips, maybe seek out some products that don't have anything medicated, no essential oils or anything crazy like that in them and see if you notice an improvement. Tip from me too. This is another travel item. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Mm, some repair, synchronized recovery complex too. That's fine. Uh, it was for travel, so it was hard to tell, but like, I feel like it didn't not it didn't do nothing, but it didn't do something. If that makes sense, not enough to try and explore and buy a bigger product. All right, um, that was all the skincare stuff I have. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, I'm gonna do one more. 
Um, okay, okay, okay. Thanks for watching. If I made you chuckle, maybe give me a like, maybe give me a subscribe.